Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I haven't made a YouTube video in probably like seven months or something like that. I don't know. You could probably check very easily. <laughs> but um, today we're going to be building a two by two by four enclosure for my new snake. Um, hopefully it works out. I'm very excited. We're going to be doing the bioactive process today. I'm going to be talking a little bit about how you start out a bioactive enclosure because we're going to be doing this the same exact way that I did my Crested Gecko enclosure with the ABG mix and drainage layer and spring kills and isopods and all of that good stuff. Um, but first, we're going to do a little time lapse of me building the enclosure. Um, and right now, we're going to be moving some stuff around. Ignore the Cheez-Its. <laughs> um, Smeagol's enclosure is on the floor right now. This is going to be moved. That's going to be moved. Everything has to be moved. So, you guys will see how my room looks after all of this process too, I hope. <laughs> but anyway, time lapse time. Hey guys, so it has been almost two months since I filmed the last little part. Um, and I wanna say to anybody who's trying to build an enclosure this big, just keep in mind how long it takes. Like I thought that this was gonna be an easy process and then I would just have to buy a few things and then it would be done. But that's not the case, obviously, because my snake is still in his quarantine enclosure, so. Um, but anyway, I do have a few little updates to share, um, and I also just got a package. So, um, we're gonna put that in the enclosure now, and I will share some updates, um, with, like, a little bit of what I've done with the enclosure. So, here we go. <laughs> so, the next thing that I have is, um, pretty much a necessity to any bioactive enclosure, especially, like, the tropical kind and any kind that you really want to have um, isopods in. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, so I have leaf litter to add and I got three gallons of it. <laughs> um, and these are from Oak Leaf Vivarium on Etsy and they are organic Texas live oak leaf litter. Um, they sell them for dart, dart frogs, um, but obviously you can use leaf litter for whatever bioactive enclosure that you need to use them for. So anyway, uh, I'm going to show you what the enclosure looks like now, and then I'm going to add the leaf litter in um, for my isopods to munch on while um, the rest is getting ready. <laughs> so this is what I have the enclosure looking like at the moment. There are currently three species of isopods in here, as, as well as springtails. Um, I've got Wandering Jew over there, um, air plants, this is a purple heart, um, those are Monstera back there, I'm not entirely sure what these are, um, and this is all ABG mix, so I'm gonna add as much of these as fits in here, <laughs> and then I'll come back. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like with all of that leaf litter in there. I literally only had to use one bag, so I'm gonna use the rest on Keeley and um, Smeagol's enclosure because they need leaf litter anyway. So this is awesome, it won't go to waste. Um, these leaves are super interesting. They're like kind of harder. Um, they're Texas live oak, I guess. Um, and they're really pretty. I mean, it makes it look super cool. So I'm excited about this. Um, Obviously, I need a whole bunch of stuff. I'm waiting on it, obviously, to um, finish up the rest of the enclosure because this thing is massive. Ignore all of that. I'm having a gnat problem at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what like the bottom and 
soil area looks like. I think it looks amazing and I'm very, very happy with how well all of the different types of plants are doing. So yeah, I will tune in when I get all the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Hey guys, it's been another couple weeks. Um, I just unboxed this very large um, package for my large pieces of driftwood. Um, I'll show you them real fast. If I can set up my phone. This is the um, 24 inch one that I ordered. And then this one is the three foot one that I ordered. I'm so excited to finally get everything in this enclosure. It's insane, I'm so excited. Okay, so I think I finished it. Um, for right now. Um, if I have like more airplanes to add, I think that it would be fantastic. But um, I think that it's finished for now. Um, and I have this little guy, I just took him out of his house, his quarantine tank. And um, we're gonna put him in there after I show you guys the enclosure. And then um, that'll be it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I think that we made a decent use of space. Um, I could have got a four foot, um, piece of wood but I was scared that it was going to be too big um with all of this substrate in there but I think it looks good um so I have a few air plants we've got that one in the back and then this one right here and then that one right there um this is what he likes to hide in that's what he's in right now actually um and then we've got a bunch of plants down here and his water dish that I still have to fill up. We'll probably get him a bigger one when he gets a little bit bigger. Um, but for now, I think that this is fantastic. Um, it is bioactive. I've been letting it sit for a few weeks. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like at the moment. Um, I definitely had a few leftover pieces of wood. I have that piece, and then I have the piece in his old enclosure. Um, and then I also have um, that plant that I don't have any room for. And I also have another plant that I bought at the expo um, that was meant to go in this enclosure, but it looks like that's not gonna happen right now. <laughs> and now that I took him out of that, um, I put his other hiding spot back there. Um, I'm definitely gonna add him um, like a vine up here for him to climb on um, once I find one because Petco is currently out. Um, but yeah, let's... um. Let's put this little guy in there. <laughs> and for anybody who is concerned, um, I do know that he is fairly small. Um, so his enclosure, his old enclosure will still be back there just in case he is stressed out and not ready for this massive enclosure. Um, and it's totally fine. I'll just continue working on it while he's in the little one. Um, but honestly, I think he'll enjoy it. Um, I think that more space will definitely do him good. Um, he loves to explore and I just, I wanna give him the most space in the world <laughs> and I know that he's gonna get bigger so I think this will definitely suit him um but yeah let's put this little guy in there <laughs> are you ready for your new house are you ready for your new house here you go slowly examining the enclosure. <laughs> He's just a little noodle. He'll be perfect in here. <laughs> but yeah, that's all guys. Um, if you have any questions um, or any suggestions on what I could add um, for this to be a better enclosure for him, please let me know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, 
thank you guys for watching and as always um the link to this enclosure is in my um description <laughs>